Hey, nerdy sports fan here, and ah, uh, the bye week is gone and I can watch my bills again. So I'm super excited because my team is the latest to be a 16 point favorite. Yeah, 16 point favorite against the Dolphins. They're that bad. So I've been listening to a lot of radio coverage um, leading up to this game, and Word on the street is there are Miami-based reporters saying that, well, 70 or so percent of the team would not be in the NFL if they weren't playing for Miami. That says something, all right? Um, they're terrible. Terrible. Um, I'm sorry, Miami fans. I really am. Chances are, though, you're not even watching this because, you know, it's football related and you're a Miami fan. So, you know, we'll see you next year. But Bills fans reveling in this, um, mostly because the last time our team was actually good and relevant was the early 90s when Miami was actually good and relevant. And it's nice seeing your team just lump up on a former rival. Um, yeah, this isn't going to be close. It isn't. Uh, the Bills have a dominant defense. Dominant. Um, and Miami is starting Ryan Fitzpatrick in a desperation move. So the defense won't confuse him uh, because he's a very bright guy. Um, he'll be in, you know, the right offensive sets. And um, he's just going to take risks that you shouldn't take because that's how he plays. So now and again, those risks pay off. Against a defense of this caliber, those risks will not pay off, all right? There is definitely start the Bills defense, first of all. Um, anybody who needs to be told that, though, I mean, I guess that's why you watch me, right? Um, yeah. The Bills' defense is going to probably score 20 points in any fantasy scoring system. It's going to be that bad. Um, don't even think of starting anybody from Miami. I know, Miami fans, you're cute. But, you know, um, drop everybody from your favorite team, from your fantasy team. It's not worth it. Um, as far as the Bills go, um, they've got a lot of people coming back from injury. So it's going to be different D. So Tyler Croft, a uh, tight end that they signed in the offseason to be like a, a real pass threat tight end, is coming back. Dawson Knox has been a pass threat tight end, um, but he's a rookie. So somebody who knows offensive sets a little more and uh, kind of can figure out a soft spot in his own a little bit better is welcomed. So I would expect Croft to do well in this offense because, well, Josh Allen needs a, a security blanket, and Cole Beasley really hasn't been that. Um, John Brown has very, very good rapport with um, Josh Allen, so start John Brown this week. He's probably a wide receiver, too, because, you know, it's still Josh Allen throwing him the ball, and it's not necessarily a pedal-to-the-floor kind of offense. But start him. He's going to score a lot of points this week. Um, Singletary and Gore situation is interesting. Every time Singletary plays, he seems to put up 10 to 12 points, but... Um, you know, Gore is still the primary back even in those games. So I would say both of them are worth a shot. Frank Gore is a running back too most weeks because he just doesn't have that top end speed, but he's consistent as a lead back. Um, Devin Singletary, I would say, is a flex option for this week and actually a high end flex option because they're likely to have a, a lead early and he's going to be the primary runner late in the game. So garbage time being a thing that fantasy works well from, um, I would expect Devin Singletary to get right around running back two numbers. 
He's not as consistent a play because he isn't the lead back. So he's a flex option, but a very high-end flex option. Um, Josh Allen is a start this game. He's not owned in a lot of leagues. Don't know why. If he's available, pick him up. I don't care who your quarterback is. Josh Allen will outscore him this week because he's playing against a JV squad. So he's going to throw touchdowns. He's going to run for touchdowns. He's going to look like the best damn quarterback ever to play simply because he's playing against the Dolphins. So that's my main fantasy football advice. A lot of players from the Bills need to be in your lineup this week, but especially Josh Allen and their defense. I don't care what your other fantasy is, what, what, what your other team looks like. It doesn't matter. Josh Allen should start a quarterback. The Bills defense should start a defense because the matchup is that favorable. Um, as far as the spread goes, oh, I'm sorry, it's 17 points now. And um, I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't. Um, the Bills aren't the kind of team that will keep on just lumping on another team. They're, they're not. They've got a high character head coach. And I think they get a two touchdown lead and they sit on it. I do. So, um, yeah, I, I think Miami will actually beat the spread this week just because the Bills are coached by a really nice guy. So that's what I got for this game. Hit me up in the rest of the videos to see what you should do with your fantasy team.